Hello everyone and welcome to Pitfall, the Lost Expedition. I am Wishblade and I'm gonna press the start button. Otherwise it's just gonna go back to all the cutscenes and the stuff and the stuff and usually there'd be some some loading stuff here but that's because I've been waiting around and then I've gone back to this a few times so it's already kind of loaded the things but whatever. It doesn't really matter. Now what the hell is Pitfall? Well, Pitfall is, I don't know, I guess it's kind of a franchise, I suppose. Starting from way back when, in the olden days, where it was like, it was platforming. It was basically an old school side scrolling, but it didn't really scroll, but still, side moving platformer of some kind, where you went into the jungle, you found treasure, and it was all good and wonderful. That's what this is. This is the latest and I don't know, probably the last. I can't see this getting a reboot or anything like that. And this still is still very old. I don't know when this came out. I can't remember. And I did not check. Silly me. But it is still kind of an old game. And actually, it's not one of my favorites. Usually, I let's play favorite games. This, I wouldn't say it's a favorite game of mine. There's just something about it. It's silly. It is silly. It is dumb. It's, it's awesome. In that way was like kind of a guilty pleasure I don't know it's kind of a guilty pleasure to me because I don't think I should like it even though I don't think it was really I don't know received to be poor or anything it's not like it's a crappy game but it's not awesome either I don't know it's just one of those games where sometimes I just think back to this and I'll go and go it was fun it was fun there was some good moments in this even though, at times, the game is just so dumb and kinda bad, but here I am just sitting here rambling on. Maybe we should just get started, see what this is actually all about. Then I'm, sh I'm sure I'll have some fun, hopefully you people will have some fun, and it's gonna be awesome. So new game it is. That's one way to start a game. We are this guy, who we don't know the name of yet, and we're fighting a flaming jaguar. Okay, in a some kind of ruin arena. Ow. Hey, yes, son of a bitch, get back, get over here, so I can smack you. Yeah, goddamn bastard. And what was I saying? I was saying something. But yeah, we're fighting a flaming jaguar. That's awesome, and we don't have a health bar. That's how easy it is. And you just need to basically do this. Run around, run to the side, punch, kick, or whatever you do. You do have some... It changes the moves ever so slightly. And just keep doing that until you hit it ten times. Boom. When a giant demon jaguar drinking fire to is about to terminate your existence, your life flashes before your eyes. Actually, no one says that. Not a lot of people have experience with giant demon jaguars. And as of yesterday, neither did I. But that was before I met him. Bittenbinder. Bernard Bittenbinder. PhD, to be precise. Thought we'd get introduced, since the only ones on this plane to South America seems to be you and my group you of... You found that Toltec crystal skull, and discovered that light when shined through it actually slows down. That research wasn't ever published. Who are you? Harry. Most people call me... <laughs> Pitfall Harry. So you assume I'm like most people. What are you doing? Turning on the charm. This is my medium set. Ugh. Charm's getting to you, huh? Let me go! 
Now you're Mr. Macho? Saving the woman when you died for her in the cold night? In the hot night. And here we are! Welcome to the jungle and... Harry, stop doing that with your hand. I don't know why you're doing that. Okay, well... This is Harry. Or Pitfall Harry. Our protagonist. And he can dance. Look at him dance! Alright. So... I guess we know what's gonna happen in 24 in-game hours. We're gonna find... We're gonna fight... A fiery jaguar. Now we gotta figure out how we get to that point. So, alright. We are in the jungle, and we can do the basic platforming things. You can jump, you can punch, punch, kick, or attack, rather. And also, this is a living pit. Don't fall into the living pit, that hurts. And monkeys, they also hurt. Don't get hit by those either. We'll talk more about these monsters or creatures later at some point. For right now, let's just get past, and we can also double jump. So that's a wonderful thing. Swinging on the vines, like good old, I don't know, adventure style. Ooh. What have we here? That is an idol. It's the shiny of the game. Gotcha. And we can use the C stick to fumble around with our hands. I guess that's what what he was doing before, for some reason. But yeah, that is the collectibles of the game. We want those. Definitely want those. There's also you did briefly probably saw one like up. There, yeah, but we cannot get to that right now. A little later, and that's the the R the R button that I'm using right here to have a look upstairs by holding it down and everything. I can also just press it one time, just boop, and the camera centers behind you. Now, what is this wee little monkey here? Ah! My goodness, I'm sorry. Ah! Keep it cool, man. Okay. Good night. These are howler monkeys. I'll also talk more about them later, but generally, either you go over and kick them in the face, or you sneak by by holding very lightly on the control stick. But you go away. You are annoying. Those are very annoying. I'm just gonna say it right now. But yes, this is basically just everyday platforming adventure stuff. You go out, you collect stuff, and I don't know, you figure out what the hell's going on and where Ow. <laughs> Let's do that again. If I can. <laughs> what? It's me. Let me bonk my head. Let me bonk my head. There we go. <laughs> and save people. And find the people who crash landed and everything like that. How do I control the camera again? How is it I do that? Oh yeah, it's like this. Oh actually. Oh right, no. This is the Z button or the C button or whatever you want to call it. The right and left buttons, or triggers, or whatever you want to call them, are for the camera controls. I'm sorry! Let's Buddy, read this guy! How you doing? Greetings, man! How you doing? I'm shining! Oh, thank you! Thank you! <laughs> you are welcome! And freeing explorers, as it says right there, yes. Their shinies are worth five regular ones. Yay! And this is a healing pool. Healing water, very refreshing, but... We haven't taken any damage, so it's all good. Nothing to worry about. Now, important facts. You can't save normally. The only way to save in this game is to go through... Is to go from an area to another. So right now, if I stop the game right here, I'd have to start over. But, as soon as I do this, I go this way. Transition. And now the game is saved as we have entered the jungle canyon where there is water and piranhas. So, we don't want to be here too long. We can swim rapidly by pressing the A button repeatedly. Also, there you go. That's how you change the camera. And you don't want to be in the water either because of those things. 
dimpy crocodiles. I'm fairly certain they're crocodiles. But you can jump on them, so that's nice. But don't stand on them for too long, because otherwise, this will happen. And num. But, you can do a little something, wiggle from side to side, and A to get the hell out of the way. Beautiful. So that's how you escape from crocodiles, if you're ever wondering. And, inside the waterfall right here, is another idol. Hear me here. Now, we can go to the underground dam over here, but we do not want to do that. That is not until much later. There are several areas that you can go to, but you will be hindered in your in your travels because there are certain items you require. It's like Metroid. Sometimes you just can't go to an area because, well, you need the Varia suit or whatever. Go away. One way to deal with these living pits or whatever, you can find an enemy, punch him slash kick him into the pit, and then they'll eat him and they'll be closed for good. Because apparently they've had enough to eat, I guess, so go away, more howler monkeys. And did I say this? I'm not sure I said this, oh, but yeah. when they start howling, and if they keep doing that, usually there will be other monkeys outside of the game, whatever, they throw coconuts, stuff like that at you, it hurts, it's not very nice, and apparently the game wants me to wake up the shaman, so, okay. Okay, that failed. How to wake up, people? Punch him in the face! And the shaman here is the shopkeeper of the game, so you can buy things for idols, like more health, Something with a canteen, don't know what that is. Stuff and stuff. Some notes, I also have some notes. And a mystery item, which I'll be getting. I'm not sure what this is, but it reminds me of a similar time. A time when all I had to worry about was jumping on crockheads and grabbing money bags. And it comes with more saying, a note saying to use it. And it was the, the saying to use it, I have to find the pungent something. Punjau something, I don't know. Pungent? Is that pungent? I think it's an N. Pungent shrine. And a torch. Okay. It's free, so might as well. <laughs> Happy dance! Alright, head to the Punch and Shrine in the heart of the jungle to take your new purchase for a test run. Whatever the hell it is, and look at that view. That's the jungle view. It looks kinda crappy. Moving right along. But yeah. I don't know. There's just something about this game, and there's also a good story to the way I acquired it, but let's just have a look over here first. What is this? Like I'll need TNT to blow this out. Yeah, Maybe that's one of the obstacles. Okay, sorry. I, I apparently talked slightly over wee little Harry right here. The pitfall, as I prefer to call him, usually. But yeah, we need TNT at some point to open that thing. But we don't have it, so let's just move right along. Voila! But yeah. Once upon a time, when I was a wee little lad, and I screwed everything up, I went to buy this game in particular because, I don't know, it just looked awesome. As I had seen trailers and stuff like that. It was like, I'm gonna get this. And I accidentally bought it for my, not for my, but for the PlayStation 2. And I did not have a PlayStation 2 at the time. Oh, the punch and shrine. There you go. And also, yes, hold Y. And you crouch, and then you can roll around like this. Very sillily, very goofily. Whoop. But yeah. I accidentally managed to buy it for the PlayStation 2, which apparently also was released a few days earlier than the GameCube version. And yeah, then I had to go back, then I returned it, I got the GameCube version. It's like, well that was a big old screw up on my on my part, so yeah. Look at this. This looks very safe. Absolutely not. Okay. We'll just use these instead. Or we'll just be fast and jump on them if we wanted to. And everything's good. But yeah, it's a very simple game. Nothing too I don't know, too difficult about it. Also, hello. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. What are you gonna do? Don't hurt me! No ow! Okay, I screwed up. But yeah, to get these guys out of the bushes, you crouch down, and you attack, and you make a sweeping maneuver. 
Also, that's a web over there. We cannot do anything with that web for right now. We need a torch to burn that down. Yep, the mystery item goes in there somehow. Um, I think, yes, I... Did I do this wrong? Um, no, I'm not sure I did. Okay, I, I don't know. Now I can't remember. I might have done it wrong now by hesitating, so, oops. Uh, let's see if I can do it. Yeah, but you need to do this. Get all these up and running so that you can jump all the way to the top. There you go. And that's a very interesting looking wall. Also, also, apparently, we can turn the camera like this to change its position and look down the hole. If we were curious, what might be lurking down there? Oh, I see, I don't. If. Yeah. Now, also, one more thing. Uh, should we jump down? Okay, sure. No fall damage. I'll mark this on my map so I can come back later. Thank you, Pitfall, or Harry, or whatever. Sir, that is very kind of you to note. But yeah, that's an explorer. Can't free him, because we don't have the torch. And before I go to the next area, I just want to go to my menu and go to my notes. Because there is something here that you can do that can also have hints, if you want to, from just tutorial things, everything like that. There's a bestiary, but I'm not going to look at that yet. An inventory where we have nothing, no items at all. But there's a journal. Occasionally, you're going to get entries in this journal. Just detailing what's going on, what's it, what just happened and everything. And I kind of want to go through these. I haven't really done that ever. So, this is kind of going to be a new experience for me. A little bit, because I haven't read them. And there's his own, his own special flair on what he writes and everything. So, let's have a look. Entry number one. Something, 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 dates and blah, 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 blah. Apparently we're in the 30s. Awesome. I've boarded a cargo plane bound for Peru. Forrestal has been investigating a local legend of an ancient Chajabarian something temple. I'm going to see if I can beat him to it. On board the plane is a group of explorers also bound for Peru. They're pretty tight-lipped about what they're up to. The leader is a man named Bittenbinder, who we saw. That's him. I like him. Reminds me of me in about 20 years. Minus the gut, I hope. <laughs> There's also this girl, Nicole, total ice queen, mixed with a dash of bookworm. But hey, I always love a challenge. <laughs> Just got to turn on the old pitfall charm. It didn't work. She'll be falling for me by the time this plane touches down, guaranteed. I don't think she really likes you at this point, even though... You might have given her a parachute, but you were creepy and you kissed her. But... Mm. She's kinda hot, so that's nice. Oops, that's going all the way out. Don't depress that, we have another entry to look at. Entry number two. Plane hit a storm and went down hard. Managed to get most most everyone off in time, but we ran out of shoots. Heroic me, I went down with the ship. So did Bittenbinder, and that nutty professor, professor Leech, I think. Not sure though, because I blacked out before the crash. Well, bugger all. And I must be the luckiest guy alive. Woke up in a field of flowers about 300 yards away from the crash site. Guess I was thrown free at impact. I can see flares firing in the distance, so there's got to be at least one other survivor. Going to try and find a way to him. Or her. Could be a her. You never know. But there you go. That is something. Now let's move on to something else entirely. The plane cockpit. Well, that is definitely part of a plane. And these are scorpions. We can't really kill them, but we can knock them down for now, so you do that instead. Slide down. And yeah, if you're too high up or whatever, then you can slide down with the C-stick. And then use the control stick to move yourself ever so slightly like this. Get on over here, sweep the freaking window, and head inside. Hey, hey, you made it. Any other survivors? The doctor, Mr. Leach, went off to find the others. Now, they took that tank, the Gizmo 85. Yes, a real improvement over the Gizmo 84. Follow the tracks, I'm sure you'll find them. Will you help us locate everyone? I, uh, get to rescue the girl? I suggest you let her think she rescued herself. Here, you might try gathering water from that pond out there. Oh, it's very clean. Tasty, even. 
I think it may even possess healing properties. And it looks like you could use some healing. Thanks. Then follow those tracks. Me, I've got to fly. When I found out that Bittenbinder had survived the crash, I decided I'd follow his tracks to see if I could hitch a ride. I didn't know my choice would ultimately lead me to becoming lunch for a demonic jaguar, so off I went with my new canteen in hand. And we received the canteen, which can carry the healing water from the fountains. And we can equip that with the D-pad and everything. And I will demonstrate that later, because at this point, I think we've had enough fun and games for, for right now, for one episode. So you know what? Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, see you later.